The Green Gage Summer called The Loss of Innocence in the USA is a 1961 British drama film directed by Lewis Gilbert and starring Kenneth Moore and Susanna York in her first leading role. It was based on the novel The Green Gage Summer 1958 by Rumor Godin. Set in Epernay, in the Champagne region of France, it is the story of the transition of a teenage girl into womanhood. Moore later named it as his favorite film, stating, Susanna York was just 21 and an adorable creature. It was one of the happiest films on which I have ever worked. Topic. Plot Joss Gray, Susanna York, a 16-year-old English girl, finds herself responsible for the care of her three younger siblings on a summer vacation in France when their mother is suddenly taken ill and rushed to the hospital. When they go to the hotel oilets, proprietress Mademoiselle ZC Danielle Derue does not want the responsibility of unchaperoned children, but her enigmatic English lover Elliot Kenneth Moore persuades her to accept them. As the days pass, she wishes she had stuck to her original answer. She is increasingly jealous of the attention Elliot pays to the children, especially to Joss. Meanwhile, hotel employee Paul, David Sare, becomes suspicious of Elliot, snoops in his room, and finds a pistol. Elliot catches Paul and gets ZC to fire him, but Joss's 13-year-old sister Hester Jane Asher has taken a liking to Paul and begs Joss to get Elliot to reconsider, which he does. But later he becomes angry when Shutterbug Hester takes his picture. Then he rushes out of a tour of caves where champagne is stored to avoid famous guest Monsieur Renard Raymond Jérôme, the best policeman in France. He also insists on turning away potential guests. Tensions come to a boiling point when ZC throws a glass of champagne in her rival's face. Elliot chases after her, saying, within Joss's hearing, that she is only a child. Gleaning from a newspaper article that Elliot is a notorious jewel thief, the outraged Joss mails Hester's photo of him to the police. Elliot has already decided to leave. He sneaks out late at night but, hearing a drunken Paul attack Joss, rushes up to her room. He punches Paul, who tries to climb down a drainpipe but falls to his death. A remorseful Joss confesses to Elliot that she has denounced him to the police. At her request, he gives her a grown-up kiss. Then he disposes of Paul's body and absconds. While Renard is questioning the uncooperative children the next morning, their solicitor uncle, Mr. Bullock Maurice Denham, arrives. He has been summoned by an unsigned telegram to extricate them. From the source of the message, Renard realizes that it is from Elliot and that he is trying to escape across the border on a river barge. <laughs> Topic. Cast. Kenneth Moore as Elliot Danielle Derue as Mademoiselle ZC Susanna York as Joss Gray Claude Nollier as Madame Corbett, the hotel manager Jane Asher as Hester Gray Elizabeth Deere as Vicky Gray, the youngest sister Richard Williams as Wilmouse Gray, the young brother David Sayre as Paul Raymond Jérôme as Police Inspector Renard Maurice Denham as Mr. Bullock André Moran as M. Dutour Harold Casket as M. Prado Jacques B. Brunius as M. Joubert Joy Shelton as Mrs. Gray Topic. Production The film was a co-production between Victor Seville and Edward Small for United Artists. It was meant to be one of several the two made together, a never-filmed adaptation of The Mousetrap intending to be another, with the third being Legacy of a Spy. Cary Grant was the original choice for the male lead. 
However the film was eventually set up at Columbia, Moore later wrote that Lewis Gilbert insisted he go on a diet before making the film in order that he be more believable as a romantic lead. Moore did so as he very badly wanted to make the movie. Topic. Reception The film premiered on 5 April 1961 at the Odeon Leicester Square in London's West End. Reviews were positive, Lewis Gilbert thought Kenneth Moore was miscast. He was somehow too normal, it didn't quite work, that's a role Dirk Bogard should have played because you could well imagine a girl of 15 or 16 falling in love with Dirk. Susanna York also felt that, though she loved the movie, I didn't think that was a totally successful film. I always felt that Dirk Bogard was the person for the Kenneth Moore role. It needed someone with a touch of dark mystery and Dirk would have been perfect. 